everyone, and welcome to this, another episode of 3D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kisanas. In the last episode, we set up our movement and our animation for our character. Our character can run around, he, can, he, can, he animates now, everything is awesome. In today's episode, I'd like to set up the camera, so at least our initial camera set up to follow the character. We're going to be creating our dynamic camera. Alright, let's get started. Okay guys, so if I hit play right now, let's just hit play, actually let's... I turned off maximize on play last time, so let's turn it back on. Play. If we take a look at our character right now, our character runs around, runs off the screen. Uh-oh, I don't know where he went. And obviously, that you cannot play a game like this. You obviously have to set up the game so that the camera in some way follows the character. You don't have to, uh, but in many cases, that's what you actually do. So, what I'd like to take a look at today is building a dynamic camera. Okay, and we're going to use a couple of scripts, uh, but to start off with, we're going to need to build ourselves the appropriate structure um, for this camera. And as things go forward, we're going to actually make changes to the structure. So everything we're doing is pretty much temporary, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go back, we're going to make changes to our movement script, we're going to make changes to a lot of different things. But for now, let's actually set up our camera uh, hierarchy. All right, what I want to do is I want to come over here, I want to create a brand new game object, create an empty game object, and I just want to set it directly to the reset, directly to the uh, default location. So this currently is set up to our our character. Our, our character's at, at 0, 0, 0, I think. Let's just make sure. Where's our player? Uh, he's a little bit high here, so let's lower him down a bit, just so he's touching the ground, because he's not actually ever going to get fall down. He never actually falls down in this game. Uh, so actually, now I'm thinking about it, I probably didn't need to set up the... Now that I think about it, I probably didn't actually need the colliders on the floor. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, in case you guys want to set up later on, so we're actually using gravity, so you actually have a jump and that kind of thing, floor colliders are great. Anyway, let's go back to our camera. First thing I'm going to do is set up this game object. And we're going to rename this game object to, let's call it, um, let's call it camera group. Camera group. And basically what I want to add to this camera group, I want to take my main camera and I want to drag it and I want to drop it into the hierarchy of the camera group. So right now we've got ourselves a camera group and we've got ourselves a main camera on top of that. Whenever we move around the camera group, our main camera is going to follow. Okay, and let's actually set up our main camera where we like it. Uh, right now our main camera is set up at kind of a weird spot. Uh, my magic numbers uh, for this, or for what I used for my game, were 13.5 and minus 12. Alright, that is the numbers that I used uh, for this game. So let's just take a look at that. You guys can choose whatever values you want. That's the, the kind of look that I wanted for this game. Okay, you guys can choose whatever values you want uh, for your particular camera. Uh, and why does my camera have a rotation? It should not. That's interesting. Oh yes, I rotated before. What am I saying? <laughs> Let's actually set this rotation to 34. I think I had it at 30, 35 is what I think my magic numbers were. Bang. All right, so right there, that is the style of camera I want. You guys can choose whatever style of camera you want for yours. Maybe I even like 45 better. Let's let's see how that looks. 40. You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll leave it at I'll leave it at 40 for now. 40, happy medium. Anyway, you guys choose the style of camera you want. Uh, for me, I've got this kind of top-down, looking-down kind of view. Now, as of right now, this doesn't change anything at all. Our camera is still locked in place. It is associated to this camera group, and our camera group is located right now at our player's feet, but it is in no way uh, tied together. All right, so we're going to actually go through and create a number of scripts, or for now, one script that's going to allow us to have this camera follow along the character. Uh, let me just get it up here. Uh, it's going to follow on the character. So for what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to camera group. I'm going to say add component. And I'm going to go down here and add a brand new script. New script. And I'm going to call this um, camera follows. All right. That's my camera follow script. And what I do, bang, I get the, the brand new node added here. Double clicking is going to bring up. And it's going to bring up this error like it always does. So we'll just move this out of the way for now. Bring it back. Uh, uh, why are you doing this? Let me shrink this and bring it back. Sometimes this happens. All right, there we go. So there's our camera follows. It's just because of my recording software, guys. Anyway, there's our camera follow script, and it's not it's not going to be too difficult of a script to write, actually. We basically need a couple of different things. We're going to need a serialized field. 
It's going to allow us to make changes to this individual script, to the script uh, in the in the actual uh, in the actual um, in uh, right here. What is this thing called? Inspector. <laughs> My brain is not working. My girls were up all night, very very sick. We are still sick here. Uh, which really sucks. Anyway, serialized field, what we're going to be adding in here is we're going to be adding a transform. We're going to be looking at a transform, and we'll just simply call it target. All right, that's going to be our transform, and we're, we're looking at a transform, and we're going to call it target. 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 Perfect. All right, the next thing we need is we're going to have a serialized field, and it's going to be a float, uh, and we'll basically call it a smoothing. And smoothing is going to be smoothing was 5f. Uh, smoothing is basically going to allow us to have a nice smooth transition for this for this movement of this camera. We don't want it to just to be jarring and, and slammed into place. All right, so smoothing. Uh, I want to have in here an, an offset. So we're going to have in here a vector three vector three that we're going to call offset. And this offset is going to be, in our case, we're not really too, too worried about it. Um, the offset basically, let me move this out of the way for you guys to see. The offset basically is saying that our camera group is located at 0, 0, 0. Our player is located at some value that's not 0, 0, 0. And the offset is going to allow us to track that value to make sure that we maintain that difference. Uh, that's basically what the offset value is going to do. Okay, it's going to maintain that difference. So if you had a huge difference, like you could have put this entire thing off to one side, and it would still follow along appropriately. So that's what our vector three offset is going to do. Now, there's a number of things we got to. First thing we have to do is is determine our offset, and we're going to do so right here in our initialization of our start. Okay, so in the start and the start function, what I want you guys to do is offset. Offset is going to be equal to, uh, and we're going to equal to the transform. Um, uh, position, so basically the position um, of our camera, or sorry, the camera group, minus the target, target dot position. All right. So what I'm basically doing is subtracting one from the other and getting a, a difference in the two, uh, and that difference will be maintained uh, throughout the entire script. Okay, that's what our offset value is. Now. Once again, you can either do this in your update or your fixed update. It's up to you. I'm just going to do it in the fixed update to make sure my camera movements. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to, but I'm just going to do it by fixed update to make sure my camera movements occur at the same time as the character movements, which are occurring within the fixed update. Okay? So basically, what I want to do is I want to determine the position of my camera where it has to be. So I'm going to add in here a vector 3. A vector 3. And I'm going to set that equal to, and it's going to be equal to my. Uh, sorry, not equal to. This is a new declaration. I'm gonna set a new a new vector three called target cam pose. So basically, it is the the position that I'm trying to get my my actual camera to move to. All right, target cam pose, and it's going to be equal to my target's position target dot position plus the offset. Okay, that is the position I am trying to achieve for my camera. Okay, uh, after that, what I want to do is I want to move my camera into place. Transform dot position is going to be equal to a vector three, a vector three dot lerp, and a lerp is basically a smooth interpretation interpolation, excuse me, uh, between two values. All right, it's going to give us a nice smooth interpolation between two values. The two values in this case, it's a vector three value, two vector threes. We're going to be interpolating from our transforms position, our current transforms position, transform dot position, uh, and we're going to be interpolating. We want to move to our target. Cam pose, that's the value we're trying to hit to. And we want to move there at a particular rate. We want to move there at, at our smoothing rate. Did I call it smoothing? Yeah, I call it smoothing. At our smoothing rate times our time dot delta time. Alright, and that'll give us a nice smooth follow rate. Okay? So I'm gonna file save this for now. File save. And let's move this out of the way. And let's watch what happens. Now, if I, if I, well, right now nothing's going to happen because if I come over here and I take a look at my actual camera, my camera group, if I've done everything correctly, then I should have both my target follows in here and my smoothing. Perfect, I have both of those. But currently, target is set to none 
My target is actually the transform of my player. That's what I want my camera to follow. So I'm just going to grab player, I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to drop it in transform right there. So now my target has a transform of the player associated with it, and we're smoothing at 5. If we want to change the value of 5 later on, we can. All right, now I'm going to maximize on play I have already. Watch what happens now when I hit play. So there is my character, and there is my camera following my player along. All right, perfect, exactly what I want. The smoothing effect, you can see it as my player comes to a stop, the camera catches up, the camera starts a brief second before or after the character starts to move. That is our smoothing effect, all right? So that is our dynamic camera. Now there's a couple of things that I want to do. Um, you don't actually have to do this part here if you don't want to. Uh, this part will work perfectly fine. The, the camera itself is locked. The camera itself is locked in the position that it's in right now. So you can see that we've kind of got this locked camera as far as the rotation is concerned. Uh, we can adjust that later on. Maybe we can set up some rotation for this actual uh, group later on that allows our character to um, that allows our character to like our player to rotate the camera position to see what's around them. We can do that a little bit later on, I think. Maybe we'll even do it in this episode. I'm not sure. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a cheat. So currently the camera rotation is locked off. I want to go to my main camera. Right up here, my main camera. And my main camera, what I want to do is I want to add to my main camera a an additional an additional function. That additional function uh, is going to be this kind of rotation cheat that kind of rotates my camera in the direction the player is moving. So we get a nice little camera rotation uh, when the character starts to move. Okay, so let's take a look at it. What I want to do is main camera. I want to add a component directly here. I'm going to add a brand new script. Let's scroll down here and say new script. And I'm going to call this. Um, Let's call it a camera rotation rotation cheat. And this is unnecessary. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. For me, it adds a little bit of a cinematic flair. Kind of gives that lead in of the character. So we're getting not only the not only the the uh, movement, the slow in movement of the camera, but we're also getting kind of a rotation with the actual character as well. So I'm going to create an add. Boom. And I'm going to double click to bring it up. Let me bring this back over right here. And that is our, that is it right there. Let me get it up over here too because I don't actually have it currently up on my cheaty one here. All right, camera rotation cheat. Again, a very, very simplistic uh, simplistic function. I want to add a number of different things. Once again, I'm going to add the serialized fields, serialized field for my target. Uh, this is a transform uh, that I'll call target. Exactly the same as we did with the other one. And I'm going to add a serialized field uh, once again, that a float, uh, float that I'm going to call smoothing, and they're basically the same thing. So let's just make this set this up to, uh, let's just set up to 5f. I'm not sure if that's going to be the right value or not. 5f for now. Anyway, uh, we don't actually need anything within our start function. You can remove this if you want to. And once again, we're going to set this up to be our fixed update rather than our update. Okay, I hate that warning. All right, now. In our fixed update, we're going to do a couple of things. Basically, we want our camera to rotate in the direction of, of the character's motion. So it kind of follows the character along. All right, that's what we want it to do. So we're going to declare a quaternion here, a quaternion, that I'll simply call rote. And I'm going to set that equal to, um, and I'm going to look, I'm going to use once again the look rotation. Uh, I think we talked about look rotation before. I don't remember. But anyway, let's take a look at it now and I'll explain it as we go. So uh, quaternion. Once again, dot look rotation. All right, and basically look rotation sets up a vector that we're going to look towards. That's basically what it does. It's going to take a a a vector value uh, to 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 convert, uh, and basically we're going to take the target's position, and we're going to subtract from that the transform position of our camera. Okay. And that's going to give us a, a look direction. Okay. The last thing I want to do is I want to take my transform, my transform of my camera, and I want to set the rotation, rotation, uh, rotation, equal to, and we're going to use our quaternion, and we're going to use our rotate towards function. And just the name applies, rotate towards. It's going to allow us to rotate the object in a particular direction. We want to rotate towards what? Our transform.rotation. Transform dot rotation. Uh, we want to do it at the. We want to do it at. We want to. Sorry, 
We want to go from the rotation to our rote, which we calculated right above, and we want to do it at a speed of smoothing times time dot dot delta time. All right, and that's going to give us a nice smooth rotation over time. Okay, and that's it. That's all we need in here. Basically, all we did is we set up our fixed and our fixed update. We we determined where we want to look. We determined where we are in our rotate towards where we are and we want to rotate to and how long, uh, how much we want to rotate over each increment. All right, so let's file save this. Let's move this guy out of the way. If I've done everything correctly, our main camera should have additional stuff located here. Let's see. Nothing in my console. Did I not save it? Let me save it over here. File save I did. Update. Day. There we go. Just took a really long time. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right. So our target right there, once again, is our player. Let's grab our player and drop it in place. Uh, I think a rotation value of 5 is okay. Uh, I can't remember what I used. No, I actually used a really high rotation. I used a value of 100. 100 here. All right. You guys can, again, play with that value. We'll take a look what happens if you change it. So now let's take a look. If I hit play... With my with my my cameras looking at my character at all times now, if I do that, you can see that I'm getting a slight rotation, a slight look ahead with the character. It's giving us a little bit nicer. It's giving us a view forward. It's giving us a view this way. It's giving us a view this way. All right, so we're getting a slightly nicer camera movement. It's up to you guys whether or not you add that. Um, the reason why I decided to add it was it allowed for a slight rotation in the direction of movement and gave our player uh, a little bit more information about their general surroundings. Okay, A little bit more of a cinematic view as well to our dynamic camera. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to call that an episode. Uh, that's our camera. This is getting kind of lengthy. I've done a number of lengthy episodes now, and I want to make sure I'm cutting them back a little tiny bit. That's our basic camera, our basic dynamic camera. Uh, try adjusting the smoothing values uh, and see which one you like the best. All right, guys, hopefully you're following along. Hopefully you're having an awesome time. Hopefully your games are looking great. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. Let me know why you gave me the thumbs down so I can make improvements to my videos, guys. All right. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.